Hello from Slidenerd, hello from Waves, what's up folks? I already made this vid but due to some modifications to make things better, I am remaking this vid again alright. So in this vid, I am going to talk about equals equals versus the equals method. Now you probably are a beginner in Java and you don't know exactly the difference between these two. Let me actually jump to NetBeans and show you what is happening. So here in NetBeans, I have an empty project. I have called it Java String Programs and there is a package my slide node name and I have the main function alright so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make two strings first and test them so first I'm gonna say string s1 equals to high pretty simple you just copy paste the same thing paste it again call it s2 right so now I'm gonna compare them with both the ways that is equals equals and the equals method and let us see what happens this is just an experimentation I'm gonna say system dot out dot println I'll say s1 equals equals s2 so now let's just, let's just see what this prints. Control S for saving. Shift F6. It says true. All right. So let's go ahead and see what happens when you do S1 dot equals S2. Control S. Shift F6 again. Again, this says true. So here I like to point you guys that S1 dot equals S2 compares the content that is high and high, and whether the content is the same in both the strings. So what does this do? And if you guys see over here. There is a warning. It says comparing strings using equals equals or not equals. And it says alt enter show hints. Now why is there a warning about this? So let me actually show you why there is a warning by making the string in another way. If you guys remember, you can also use the constructor, right? It says new string. And here I'm going to pass the value inside as high. This is another way of creating strings by using the string class constructor, right? And using the new operator. So I'm going to copy paste the same thing for making S4. So now I'm going to do the same thing comparing both and see what happens I'm gonna say s3 equals equals s4 and s3 dot equals s4 now let us see what this happens control s shift f6 oh we have a false somewhere over here do you guys notice this false is actually this statement s3 equals equals s4 it's giving us false how the hell is that possible both of them are high so why should it give a false at this point if you're a beginner this is the biggest question you have so let me actually jump into my presentation and show you the difference between writing these two and comparing these two with the equals equals and that is the reason why your compiler gives a warning saying comparing strings using equals equals all right so let's talk about this equals equals remember the dot equals method always compares the content between two strings so that is done all right it is very simple if both of them are the same text in same caps the same letter that is it both caps lock or both are small or something and it's the same word so it's gonna give you true always otherwise it's gonna give you false but it is this equals equals which has a problem all the time so let me go ahead and show you that is string s1 is high which we declared the first place right so here there is high and it is created in a place called constant pool inside your JVM. Now you're wondering what is going on, right? Now if you notice the string s1 equals to high, this is just like saying int x equals to 10, right? It's a constant value. It is known when the program compiles. It is known at compile time. So what your compiler does is it creates the value inside your constant pool, all right? And it assigns s1 to this value. But here is the thing, the constant pool has only constant values stored inside. So it has to be optimized, right? So what happens is once there is a constant inside the constant pool, it is not created again. I repeat, it's not created again. So if you say string s2 equals to high, compiler says, okay, you're saying string s1 is high. There is already a constant inside. String s2 is high. Hey, there is a high over here already. So why not give s2 say to the same high, right? So it's going to assign both S1 and S2 to the high. So when you say S1 equals equals S2, what you're trying to do is you're comparing whether S1 and S2 are pointing to the same high inside the memory, all right? And that is why it gives you true. But this is not the case when you use the new operator. So let me go ahead and show you what happens when you use the new operator. So here I say string S3 is new string high. Now, if you notice, there is a new over here, right? So what happens whenever you have a new operator, you're creating memory at runtime. That is when the program runs. That is when your JVM allocates memory to this. All right. So this goes inside a separate section called heap inside your Java. Heap is the place where all objects are created at runtime. So here I say string S3 is new string high. This high is put in some memory location and S3 is assigned to high. Now remember, the heap is not concerned 
with whether there is an existing object of that value all right it always creates a new object so when you say string s4 equals to new string high the heap it does not check whether there is already an existing high inside so it simply goes s4 and it creates a new high in a different memory location and that's why s3 points to this high s4 points to this high they are pointing to two separate memory locations and that is why s3 equals equals s4 gives you false but if you say s3 dot equals s4 that means you're actually checking whether both of them contain the text high or not and that is why it gives you true so i believe you guys understood something out of this vid about what is the difference between equals equals and dot equals if you like what you saw please subscribe to my channel comment let me know your thoughts i would love to hear from you guys thanks for watching i'll have you catch you guys later have a nice day